Hey everybody, in another disassembly video that we have here. This is going to be a Canon PIXMA MP560 printer. Um, it's an all-in-one inkjet printer. If you're trying to repair it or take it apart, take some parts off of it, this is the video to watch. If you like it, please subscribe, like this video, and share it with others, and I would really appreciate that. Um, so for this, we're going to need a Phillips screwdriver tip and a flathead screwdriver. So we got these two here that we're going to use for the whole disassembly. We're going to go as far as, um, as as we can, as it needs to be. So first off, we're going to take out the trays. We're going to remove the front tray. This is the one that simple one. We're going to remove that. Then we're going to remove the rear tray. So we're going to just lift it up like so and then we're going to push in the middle right here push it away and lift one of the sides up and out it goes so it was in this area right here in the slotted area there from there we'll go to the back of the printer you got to make sure the printer is off at this point well actually before we turn it off i'm sorry about this I have the printer on still. We're gonna lift this and we're gonna let the cartridge slide to the middle. That's very important to do. Um, should have told you that in the first place. Um, that'll give us access to, you know, just mo mo moving the carriage back and forth. And at this point, we're just gonna unplug it. So this is all easy to move. Um, well, let's just remove, the, since we're here, let's remove the ink cartridges. Got those out. We're going to lift this to remove the print head. Got the print head out. This printer uses a QY60073 print head. Um, that's the part number. Another tray that we have here is the one up front. Um, this one over here. So the output tray also, we're going to push in the middle here and kind of push it to push the tray to the left and try to pull it out here so we got it out of this area there and now it, it's released so three trays we removed now we're going to put the printer on its side we're going to remove the power supply unit so in order to do that, we're going to release this tab here. So let's release there. And another tab right here. Gonna pull it back. There we go. Gonna pull it out and disconnect it right here. There we go, this is our power supply. From here, we'll remove the side panels by taking the the screw, screwdriver tip. Actually, this is another thing that we can just remove right now. That's a paper path in the back. If you ever have a jam, that's another place to look for it. It's right here. Um, and to put it back, you just kind of go like this here and it's all back set. So let's remove that. We're gonna remove the four screws. That'll re release the right and the left panel covers, the printer covers. We have the four screws out. We're gonna go open this here. And there are some tabs that you'll be able to see here with arrows and that you'll need to press with the flathead screwdriver. Um, so you can see that since we already moved this panel, the top portion just popped out. So basically the same thing is gonna happen here. Um, but we don't want it out yet because we need to disconnect everything from 
from the computer. I mean, from the uh, logic board. So let's go over here. We have an arrow over here. We need to press right in there. To release this cover here. Okay, so this is the tab, and you just press it in there. That releases this. Oops. So on the left side, the printer out. Here we go. On the right side. there and let's remove the control panel go kind of push it from the back over now we have the access to the control panel I mean the uh, formatter board so we're gonna disconnect since we're removing it we're going to disconnect all cords this one just pulls back and then when you put the cord in back here, just make sure you push it in to clamp the cord in. Disconnect everything carefully without breaking anything. Trying the best I can with this here. So, any cords that are hard to get to, just kind of Pull them out with a screwdriver and just pull it from the board. Do that before you um, before you unscrew the board from the area where it's at. So I think I have all the screws, all the cords disconnected. I'm gonna remove all the screws now. here another screw Let's remove this here, the panel, 
so basically it already unclamped it but it just kind of goes up just go around with the screwdriver and lift it up like so and let's remove the screws here and we early already removed this let's, let's disconnect this here One more screw right here. And this is our control panel. Oops. Just want to be careful not to lose all this stuff here. our control panel right there so now let's disconnect this top portion it has a couple wires here here we go so this is a scanner unit it has a scanner inside of it if you're just trying to replace the top you pull that out just kind of like push it up and pull it out. The scanner unit is out. Okay, and that's the inside of the printer. Um, from here on, it's just clamped, I believe, by clips. No more screws to remove the top portion. So there's a tab right here that we need to lift. We can use the screwdriver to lift that. There's a screw right here that we need to remove that lets us lift this portion up. Then in the back, there's a screw, uh, the clip right here. It's like this screw is holding something down. We're gonna remove it. This removes the front portion here. Take pictures as you go in order to get, if you're going this far to repair something, for example, a carriage unit, that's what you need to do is uh, go this far and some more. So make sure you take pictures as you go so you can put it all back together when you're all done. This is the back portion. Has another clip right here. Now, this is the logic board, the formatter board that we unscrewed earlier, comes right out. This is the card reader board that we're not, not going to remove for now. This is a timing strip, it removes by just sliding to the right and then remove it here. If you're replacing that, make sure you are putting the new one in the, the correct way, first of all. Um, and then into the correct slot in the back so you can get that working correctly. Okay, so there's a screw right here that we need to remove. I just removed that. Another screw right there. And over here right behind this plastic right there that needs to be removed in order to take this piece out it has <clears throat> all the cords for the print head or the carriage unit and some remove this driver belt I mean driver belt motor so let's remove the belt from the motor 
And there's two screws that we need to remove. There's one there. And another one right there. I'm gonna use a screwdriver for that. Connect it right here. I've never removed the carriage unit on this. I've done it on the other printers. So I'm gonna see how that goes. Try to just remove all the parts here. It looks like we're getting somewhere with this carriage unit, so three screws on that side. Go for right here. So I guess this is all the carriage unit there. The cores right here. It's simpler with the newer models right now. Um, the carriage unit is much simpler to replace. Usually you just take the top bar off and it comes right out. This one is, as you can see, a lot more complicated. And there's more springs on the back. This falls apart, so it's a whole mess. And as you can see, I'm not gonna put this back together. Um, that's why I was telling you to take pictures as you go because we're only taking this printer apart. Um, here's our carriage unit once more. You can see it's all in one piece. inside parts this is that rear paper tray or feeder you have two screws there and one more there and it comes right out well that wasn't too hard only thing and it's connected over here to all these cores that don't really disconnect so that's kind of a, a problem and more work um, you can always disconnect it right here if you're just replacing this part here and then put it all back together um, Pretty much that's it. This is where the print head sits while it is not in use, although the printer is not in use. And I think we got everything out. Um, these are the pickup rollers for the bottom tray. Um, so this is how far we'll go. Hopefully this was entertaining or it was some sort of help for you to get to a certain part that you needed to. If it did, please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and um, share this video with others. I would really appreciate that. And have yourself a wonderful day. Thank you so much.